Alright, so welcome back to Callisto FX. This will be our weekly forecast for the week of 31st July. Okay, so let's start off with the dollar index. So right now we have not reached this weekly for value gap and we have a rejection, right? So we are currently resting within this weekly fair value gap on top after we just came off a daily fair value gap sting and then nice reaction upwards. So you can see we closed off Friday quite in the middle, right? No clear indication of where it's going. But given the recent momentum, again, I'm expecting bullish prices, uh, even though it can be argued that it's 50-50. So in a bullish scenario, I will be looking for perhaps further uh, discount arrays to be created, either on the daily or the 4-hour. So on the 4-hour, as you can see here, we had a reaction off of this 4-hour value gap already. So I would like to see a creation of a further 4-hour discount array and then we can see bullish prices from there okay next let's touch on australian dollar us dollar so uh currently we are in quite a range here right as you can see we have this range over here and this range over here uh not looking too clean right trending market wise we're just stuck in between the range so i don't really like how it looks yeah, we just rejected off of this level there's nothing really nice to trade off of over here uh on the daily yeah nothing too nice on the four hour as well just very messy price action uh if we do hit to this lower range here though as i'm expecting bullish uh dollar right we have a nice rejection of this four hour value gap i would like to see again for the four hour uh, pd arrays created premium is created and then a further movement down next euro us dollar so euro us dollar has been bullish right the past few weeks and now we have just stung into our weekly fair value gap right we have this weekly fair value gap which is overlapping with this bullish order block over here so we have uh, this weekly fair value gap sting uh, indicating possibility of higher prices but again remember i'm expecting higher prices of the dollar so i'll be looking for overall lower prices on euro us dollar as you can see here we have a potential bearish order flow switch you can see these two overlapping fair value gaps which is a balanced price range uh, so i'm expecting lower euro us dollar so once again i'd like to see either a further uh, premium recreation on the daily or the four hour right on the four hour we again have this thing already so i would like to see further movement downwards from here next gbp us dollar so we failed to take out this high this drawn liquidity which is your monthly value gap over here we failed to sting into that so we had a nice or rather very quick rejection downwards from this area over here uh, in line with our bullish expectations on the dollar so once again very nice reaction off of this daily value gap right and same thing right we'll be expecting the same thing for x usd pairs right so it's looking very similar right staying to four hour premium arrays over here so i would like further creation of more four hour premium arrays here so maybe we could see a sting into this fair value gap and then a push up here and then a continuation downward with the bullish expectation of the dollar all right next usd canadian dollar so we have once again quite messy price action recently right very rangy price action over here on the weekly so let me just mark that out it is however respecting this weekly order block here so we could be seeing higher prices off of this right again in line with the bullish dxy but nothing really too nice to trade off of right now on the dailies let's drop down to the four hour yeah again right same thing same thing nice rejection of this so it's moving very coupled with the dollar which is good news so um uh, yeah we have a nice rejection of this fall off value gap so i'm expecting perhaps a sting to this order block 
and for the creation of fair value gaps to continue higher. USD JPY. Okay, we have very strange movements for this one. I was expecting this weekly fair value gap sting, right? And we had that. Right, we had the sting, then we had a nice rejection, and then we had uh quite a deep retracement, not something I would like to see. But uh we still pushed higher nonetheless on Friday. Pushed very high on Friday. So again, bullish prices expected, expecting something like this on the four hour, right? Perhaps a sting into this fair value gap here, continuation higher, or you could see something like this initial push up, retrace back down to this order block over here, this order block, right? And then push higher. Okay, lastly, we have gold, XAUUSD. So I don't really like this pair, right? For two weeks, it has been hitting premium and discount raise, and then it's been closing in the middle, right? So what happened last week was we had a sting into this fair value gap over here, and then we saw price being pushed downwards, right? What happened this week is we saw this fair value gap get stung into here, and we saw price pushed upwards and then back down. So it's a bit 50-50 for me personally, but uh, on the daily here, Right, we see this rejection off of this um, weekly family gap, right? Which doesn't really make a lot of sense. Why do I say that? Is because we are expecting bullish dollar, right? And we would be expecting hence bearish gold. So it's a bit decoupled with the dollar right now, which I don't really like. But uh, if I had to look for a setup, right, it is within this four hour. Fair value gap, right? We have mitigation block here. We could see a sting into this and then continuation downwards to finally fill this for our fair value gap. Ah, oh, sorry, this weekly fair value gap. But ultimately, it really depends on how the market moves. We need more information for pairs like gold. Okay, so I hope you guys found this video insightful, right? And it helped you sort of tap into my brain in terms of how i analyze certain pairs and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video uh like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one